everyone! In this video tutorial, I'd like to take a look at what it means for a reactant to be first order in the differential rate law for a given reaction. So when we say first order, what that means is that the rate will essentially change by whatever factor I change the concentration of a specific reactant by. So meaning if I were to take the concentration and double it, then I would find that my rate is also doubled. So if I take a look here, let's say that the reaction is 2A goes to B, and I find that the rate is equal to K times A. What that means then is that this is going to be first order with respect to A, meaning if I were to double the concentration of A, I would find that the rate also doubled. If I were to triple the concentration of A, I would find that the rate also tripled. Now if we look at a bigger reaction here, we see that in this overall reaction, overall it is a second order reaction. But with respect to A, it's also first order, and with respect to B, it is first order. So those are two ways that you can look and see how a first order reaction can affect the rate of the reaction and what it would look like in your differential rate law. 